I need no traffic lights to control me. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> yes. I shall drive how I wish to. If you like it, you can suck at my golden cow. <laughs> what the fuck? Finally, we are Next. here. Shut up, you whore. I'm trying to get the intro right. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, shut up, you fool. I'll mute my microphone too. No, I'm all good, okay? It's all good. It's all done, okay? So today yeah. was complete bullshit. It looks like an Airbus. It looks like an A380 or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of rant about work because it's... I don't care. No, well, really. I don't care. None of it will go in the video. No, I'm joking. It will go in the video. <laughs> Hurry up and save. Okay, so I, uh, my, one of my coworkers who I've been working with for about four months now decided today was the day she was going to end her employment. And the way she did it was stupid because rather than say, you know, I'm just not going to come in today, she comes in for maybe two, three hours, not even three hours, like two and a half hours, takes her half hour, which is her lunch, we can call them half hours at work, mm -hmm. to let her dogs go to the restroom. So I figured, no biggie, I'll wait, you know, fucking half hour, no biggie, I can deal with what orders might come in. But it was dead as fuck. So she goes to take her dogs out, which I assume she's going to put on a leash and take her on the building. Well, that wasn't the case. She got in her truck and, and left. And what didn't say slot? shit. What a slot. She didn't say that she was going to leave and take them home or whatever. Just that she was going to, you know, let them out, which I figured she'd drive up there. Because I, th I thought she had them with her, which she did last time. Mm -hmm. uh, at work, she'd have them in her truck. And that wasn't the case. She left them at home, so she drove home, I assume. Uh, let them out, and then waited uh, an hour and a half to call back saying, Oh, hey, I'm not coming back, by the way. And at that time, the owners were there. Hmm. Which, who I know personally, who I am pretty close with. The owner, the owner considers me one of his kids. That's how close we are. Nice. And he, he and I agree that it was bullshit that she did that. Oh! I don't know we just overturned things. the fuck out of that corner. I don't know how to cook most things. Like, I can do prep, I can do prep, I can do fried foods. I can do easy shit. Like, I can, the hardest thing I can do is nachos, which doesn't sound really hard, but when you think about what all goes into it, it's actually pretty difficult. Same with a club sandwich, which is a triple-decker sandwich. It's got three pieces of bread, and it's built from the bottom, so it'd be lettuce, tomato, uh... Lettuce, tomato, ham... Piece of bread with thousand on both sides, and then turkey, uh, bacon, and cheese, usually. Uh huh. Any special and, sauce? Uh, that guy's just hauling ass. Any any special sauce on the thing? No, it's just Thousand Island. Ah, uh, so no come. Okay. No come. No. Uh. Unless you can see Thousand Island like Egyptian come, then sure. Oh, uh, no. But. Uh, we had a couple of those come in, which isn't that big of a deal. The hardest thing we had come in while she was gone was that, and some little shit like a, uh, a f fucking uh, French dip, which was just a bun, a, a puck thrown down on the flat top, cooked, you know, cut up, you know, slight chopped up with a spatula, a slice of cheese on it, usually Swiss, whatever cheese the customer wants, and then it's put on the bun, cut in uh, at a 45 in the middle, Put in the shape of a heart on a plate, and then whatever whatever side they wanted with it, which is usually fries or tots. Well, uh, we ended up doing me and the owners and the cooking all the stuff for our customers. Get it sent out, and then we're thinking, well, who can we call in to help us? I know how to cook, and the first per person we think of is one of our uh, our line prep guys, Slash Dr. Todd. Uh, so I'll use our hit names. Fuck it. So we call him in, uh, turns out he doesn't, can't come in because he'd been drinking too much that day. He's like, I'm sorry, he's like, if I wasn't drinking, I'd happily come in, but he's like, I've consumed too much alcohol to safely cook. So I came up big, I'm like, well, what about Ricky? So I call up Ricky, he's, uh, he's one of the actual cooks, he's, he's one of the line cooks, he's a really good dude. Uh, we call him, he's like, I'll try, he's like, but no promises. I'm like, okay, we appreciate it if you can, if not, then no worries, we'll make it, we'll make it do. 
Mm -hmm. So he ended up showing up that uh, ten minutes later, which I was so happy to see him. Like I was actually relieved to see him. Oh yes, I love it when you like when you see someone, like it's that like, you oh, know well, you know. Fuck. Yeah. Like, but I kept this going like, with the knowledge I have. That was the cleanest turn I've ever taken. Holy fuck. But, uh, so we got through all that fun shit. We called him in for two hours. Oh, yeah. So, so he got paid at least. Uh, I want to talk to the owners about uh, getting me trained on line prep, like as soon as possible. Like all my days off, have me come in for a couple hours and train on it. Uh, or even have me come in for 10 hour shifts and have me train the first five hours on line prep. That way I get it down. Because the more time I spend in that, the more time I'm going to have on the clock. A, not just because of that, but also because I'll be more versatile. Yeah. And, uh, but the fact she did this, even though it was dead, it picked up after she left. Yeah. And it was just, it was bullshit that she dumped it on me like that, knowing that I don't know a whole lot. I'm kind of, you know, if, if I didn't know the shit I did, or the other I'd, be, I'd have been fucked. Because we couldn't call the chef because he wasn't answering. We couldn't call one of the line prep, one of the line prep slash cook guys slash dishwasher Todd because he'd been drinking. Yeah, he's a no. Yeah. And the only person I could have gotten a hold of would have been Ricky, who thankfully was able to come in. I had been yeah. able to get a hold of him, I would have told uh, Sierra to shut it down because we don't have a way. I can't cook. Mm hmm. Unless I had called my mom and said, hey, mom, I need you to come in. Sorry. Ah, there it is. I uh, had Bill, you know, talk to Bill about, you know, get Mama some monies for cooking. Cool. Yeah. Alright, well, where the hell are you? I've been waiting for like two minutes. I'm. Oh, I I'll tell you right where I'm at. Uh, I am about two hours out. I've had 126 miles. I'll be there in like five, six minutes. Alright. Uh, are you on the 15 or 40? Uh, once I see what come up, I'll tell you. I'm, I don't know. I didn't see the last one. Oh, I fucked this one up. Oh, well, it's not. It doesn't have to matter whether I, just, I back this in straight or not. Oh, you're in there. You're there. Right there and, uh, it's all good. Good sell. I make sure that's attached. Yeah, it sure is, Batman. Oh god, I can't see my trailer. Shit. Yeah, that's good. All right, where are you? To your left. Ah, oh, I'm giving you the finger. Nice truck. Thanks, mate. Oh, my screen is not loading in. You're loading and loading in for me. Oh, you don't have the, uh... DLC. I apparently don't have it on for Trackers MP. It's a... it's a... vanilla game. Vanilla DLC. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's shit. What is it to you? Uh, it's a very low detailed trailer. It's red, mate. Yeah, red. You can't always get in the left lane. No, that's boring. You shall sit behind me and hog? Yep. Fuck. Oh, rip. you mate you'll catch up you know what fuck this i'm a billionaire <laughs> yeah 1.2 billion no traffic lights to control me i'm a billionaire <laughs> yes i shall drive how i wish to if you don't like it you can suck on my golden towel <laughs> like, what, what the fuck <laughs> 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 what 
you're a weird person, and I like it. If you're a billionaire, of course you're gonna have a gold. You're gonna have like a stat excuse me, a statue of yourself in gold. Yeah, I a also. I will also have golden. I will also have solid gold shit. You know, what I want to do. There's an alcohol I want to find called Goldschlager. It has gold flakes in it. Did you know that it is actually good for you to consume gold, like in, in small amounts? No, nah, I'm gonna buy a gold bar for forty-four thousand dollars and. Uh, yeah. Gold's actually a soft metal, and I I'm that. actually finding really curious that uh, it's in an alcohol, which is actually apparently really good. So I want to find it next time I go alcohol shopping and sell it to me. Day. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna video call you and drink part of it. Like I'm gonna drink a little bit. Like, I'm gonna take a shot with gold in it. Golden dildo. That would be good for your pussy. Good minerals. Yeah, I think I see you up there. Oh, we're definitely. I see a giant truck with lights on. Cause I have my uh. Uh, I can't see now. I'm cruising at 114 miles a kilometers an hour. Drunk as shit, by the looks of it. <laughs> Who is? Me. When aren't you drunk? Tomorrow. I wasn't drunk tomorrow. You wasn't drunk tomorrow? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hang on, I got eyes on shit. Oh, my lights don't go that far. Oh shit. Shit, oh. Are you just gonna reverse everything I say and have it go backwards? Backwards never go. <laughs> Was that uh, 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. You want me to slow down for you? Yeah, that might work. Alright, I'll be coasting at 65-ish. It's, it's 60, 65. 65 approximately. Yeah, bitch. I'll, I'll be doing around the 65. 60, 65. Yeah. Cool. If you want to leave, that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, I don't care. Okay, your destination, destination's farther. As long as you set, as long as you set a uh, a stop in Portland, uh, specifically at uh, Portland Cargo Central in Portland, Oregon, then we'd be fine. Mm. There you are, my map. Jesus Christ, you're calling ass. Please don't hit me. Fucking go! I am going! <sighs> and brake check which didn't even work. Go around my ass! Alright then. Jesus Christ! Not like that! Oh shit. On the, wrong side, on the wrong side of the fucking road! To American standards. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm from Australia. I had, to, I had to add that in. Just so you knew what I was going for here. I'm from Antarctica. Are your high beams on? Now they are. Hey, we're coming into Vegas. Vegas coming. Vegas coming. Is that a porn star's name? Vegas. <laughs> Vegas last welcome. Hello? Oh. Fucking you have entered the city. Can I get over? Fuck. Jesus. Can you have a bitch? <laughs> I just ran it. You overshot the fuck out of that turn. I did. I had my Jake on and I was downshifting and braking. Braking, shift down, brake. You missed Jake. Jake. <laughs> what? Trailer damage one! That's bullshit.
Where are we? Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada, Las Vegas, no. Nevada, Vegas, Las. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You can turn Nevada around. Nevada, Nevada. <laughs> no. Hold on. Think about how it's spelled. Nevada, Nevada, ne. I don't know. Nevada. Out of actually. I'm pulling over here. You're taking too long. Oh, Is see, I should run around the corner. Shit, never mind. Well, I need to turn down my. I need to turn up my braking a little bit. I think. Choo choo, chuck chuck. Good, on my secondary monitor, god damn it, there's a freight train. That's cute. Oh yeah, speaking of trains, did I tell you the story? About Sunday? Uh, yes. I did? Yep. Like, the, sun the Sunday that just passed. Not that big weekend. That smaller weekend. I think. Come about the bigger one. The, the one that... Um, the one that I'm... T Did I tell you the one where I was on a train for six hours? I think so. Ah, oh, well... In that case... Wait. You're a fucking whore, okay? Wow. I know. <laughs> That's fucked, mate. <laughs> I have right, my shit life. off, so you... Yeah. Oh, do you have to turn here? Yeah, I gotta swing wide because of how long my trailer is. Beautiful. For your boo. Anyway, so yeah, I I I went I went to this uh, I went to that Kaima place that I told you about. But as you know, we went from the train station that I used to get on up to the mansion, the Minamara mansion. Anyway, we couldn't get any due to the bar, uh, to the electric fence. And... I know, electric fence, well they're turning it into a resort. Ah, uh, so, anyway. We went, we were gonna go down to Kayama to get pizza. Uh, then we saw that train with them because that's that's where our, our electric passenger trains uh, terminate at So therefore, you know, they have another smaller train that goes down That goes down a lot um, So yeah, we were gonna get pizza, but then we saw that train. I was like, huh? Oh. Uh, so I asked the conductor how long it takes to get down that how long it takes to get to Nara, which is where all tracks finish so we decided to go down there because it only took 30 minutes. A lot less time than I thought it would take. So, yeah, we went down there. We, was, we went and got chips, and after that, we were stuck for about an hour and 40 minutes. So we just went at the train station, look at a freight train. Just parked, being silent. You can, you could, you could so smell the, the engine. Like, whoo! Jesus, it, it was wow. If you can smell the engine, that means it's pretty warm. Really? Because it didn't look like it. Because it looked like it was parked there for quite some time. It's the thing that I put. It's the engine that I put in my server. When you get a chance, look at it. Because yeah, it, like it looked like it looked like it was parked there for like maybe two days. But you see, we have like these, I'm not sure how it is on, I can't remember, I, I've i seen, like obviously I've seen American freight train engines, but I can't remember how they, how like, I don't take, really take a whole lot of look at the detail of it. Right. Like I saw the picture you had on your snap, and the ones you guys have, that I can't remember what the brand was or company, but that's similar to ours with the, the design. You guys have more ergonomic and uh, economically designed which is easier on the engines because they're so smooth and air just moves around them. Uh, we don't. The only quote unquote aerodynamic trains we have are Amtrak, which is cross con, which is cross US. Uh, yeah, but you see, that's your passenger train. Yeah. Not not freight. Our freight. I mean, our passengers are electric. 
I even put a video, well, not a video, but I put a photo up on oh. Snapchat. Oh, well. Didn't realize it was damaged. Towards it had an engine problem, I'll have to get that fixed. No. But you're like, like, why am I slowing down? <laughs> But anyway, we have like this thing on our freight train engines, we have like this massive like, like these massive vents at sort of like near the back or front, whichever one we want to say, because most of our freight trains have double-sided cabins. Right. So, yeah, that, so I think that's what we could smell, was some, was like the stuff coming out of that. Okay, so then that would that could be a variety of things, if it, if it had been sitting for two days... I don't know exactly how long... It. But it, it, I think like the max would have been two days because they had like, it wouldn't have just been parked there for like, you know, for like maybe six hours because they had these blocks on the track that makes it so just in case that someone tries to seal it, it will derail the train. Ah, uh, those, yeah. yeah. Yes, I think you can even see yeah. it. Yeah. So if it had been sitting, this is all up to in the area, if it had been sitting for more than two days, what you would have been smelling would have been uh, the oil or the diesel, depending on what kind of fuel mixture you guys use for your trains. Mm -hmm. and that's what you've been smelling the residual of uh, from the engine, because it, the scent does leak out. It's no biggie, it's something to be concerned about. Well, yeah, obviously, because it's a fucking bright train. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those vents, uh, it could, like I said, could have been a variety of things. Um, but yeah, like, I, the, the photo that I took, I don't think, oh god, I, I'll send it to you on Snapchat right now, actually. Um, we actually, that's yeah, those, the one that I'm talking about are sort of like our older engines. And your ones don't have, like, you can actually, you can actually get from one side to the other inside the trench of outside. So it's pretty cool. I turn my high beams on because it's just this long, lonely road. You get back there, fam? Yep, yeah, I'm off. Wait. But yeah, if you see at the very back, like, well, this, it's the second last engine. Uh, it's like sort of different as a high, it's like a bright yellow. If that makes sense, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you can actually go and, you can actually travel inside that. Okay, so there's an control compartment to travel through, yeah. Yeah. Our trains, like you mentioned, their exterior access. Yeah, you guys only have one end, huh? Uh, no, ours, um, some of them, I need to... Like, CSX and BNFS, like, they, most of those are, like, just... Those, most of those are just, you know, normal. You gotta slow down after the turn. Yeah, I see. Why my truck is so damaged? I only have like a couple percent on it. Oh. Ow. I wish they would add animated pedals. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, I guess it would be. They could take a lesson from Giants on animations. Because Giants has some beautiful animations for some of their tractors. Like the Gloss DLC they just released, like last, like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, all of those are fully animated on the inside. Even the radiator fan on the outside, uh, that's animated. You can see it spinning through the, through the uh, mesh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll have to uh, show you gameplay when it's not terrible. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, so you guys have like diesel powered tr passenger trains and we have electric. They yeah. are. S I love the electric ones here, they're so good. 
think ours are a mixture of uh, dielectric, which is, a, which is a diesel electric engine. Well, yeah, we we our, some of our freight train engines are, are oh. like electric as well. But it's like rare to see them. Yeah, most of our most of our locomotives are either are freight or passenger or dielectric. Uh, which means they can, they have like a mode to switch, like an economy mode if they're not heavy or not loaded, they can go to uh, economy mode, which is the electric version and uh, just kind of cruise versus the diesel side, which is uh, for when it's under load. Like our freight trains all link together. Like it's not uncommon here, at least here in Oregon, to see four plus engines on one end of a train and have two in the middle and have two on the end as pushers. Oh, yeah. So eight engines in total. It's not uncommon to see that they're they're so fucking heavy coming over the pass that they need, they need those eight engines because I, I've seen trains up to a mile long. Oh yeah, like I've seen them go like probably like two kilometers long, which is I think one point five miles. Yeah, they get fucking and long. Guess what? So one time it took a train fifteen minutes to get across a road. It, it was, it, I think it had three engines and it was, and the train was like, had to have been about, I don't know, anywhere between 700 to almost 2,000 meters long. And it only had three engines and guess what was in the, and guess what was, what they were hauling? What? Those rocks that hold the tracks up. You know? Those, you know, the rocks? Oh, that, gravel? Yeah, like that, yeah, that kind of stuff. The one, pretty much, yeah, you know, those big rocks that you put underneath the train tracks, you know, holding yeah. the place? Yeah. They were holding that, and every single one of the cars were maxed. Like, they were fully top. And, but yeah, all those. three engines were fully, like, on full power as well. Yeah. That's a lot of weight for just three engines, for a mi over a mile long trip for just three engines. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna kick some serious fucking power. Like our trains usually have upwards of like ten thousand foot pounds torque, which is like fifteen to twenty thousand newton meters. It's fucking insane. Like mm. it's not it's not uncommon to hear our engine is just screaming. You know, like not even screaming. Like when they come through the town here where I'm at, there's a railroad track that crap passes through town on the outskirts. You got to get video for me at one one time. I'll have to. Like, I've, I've crossed those tracks a couple times on a job I used to have uh, over at Earth 2O, here where I'm at, in, in Oregon. Yeah. I crossed those tracks. I, the first and the first and last... The first only and last day I worked there, uh, I crossed those tracks. I actually had to wait for the train to pass. I was still early to work by, like, half an hour. Oh, wow. But, uh, our trains are usually... Once they come through here, come over the pass after passing through uh, the other cities because we have a uh, lumber mill here in my town uh, as well as a seed plant and they'll load them up and then they'll take them to other ta other cities oh jesus oh god that was a lot the camel guard <laughs> oh fuck there it is it's camel guard Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, like how how much wait how much horsepower did you say that your trains usually have? Usually it's upwards of uh, like fifteen hundred. They're built for torque though. Fifteen hundred horsepower. Our trains over here have about ten thousand horsepower. Well, like I said, I don't entirely know. Oh well. I think like on the low end would be fifteen hundred. Oh yeah. I guess it could be ten thousand five hundred. Fuck. Oh, you got turn here. Radio. I assume you're just gonna follow me to my destination, then we're gonna tag, I'll tag up with you. Sweet. Alright, that's for me.